I beat Doors a hundred times, and today I'll be going over the entire story from how it all started all the way to one year later when it finally ended. But first, we're gonna need to see how it all started. You see, it all started one year ago when I had the bright idea to create the Doordets. I might implement something at the start of a stream where we just do Doors. Now the Doordets had one simple rule that I had to follow for this challenge, which states, for every 100 Robux I am donated, I will beat Doors once. This meant that if someone were to give me an insane amount like 10,000 Robux, I would end up having to beat Doors a hundred times but before the challenge even started it was already clear i knew what i was getting myself into bro i'm gonna have a heart attack so the question is how did beating doors a hundred times affect me how did i go from a kid that screamed at the sight of ambush what is that noise oh to someone who became fearless of the game itself we'll answer these questions as we dive into the very beginning so join me as we delve into one of the hardest challenges i've ever faced on roblox a story of happiness Ten thousand in pain So nearly two years ago, Doors was a trending Roblox horror game that was released by a small dev team with only a few people. You see, Doors is a horror game where you and your friends have to make your way through a hundred doors and get to the very end to enter the elevator while surviving several entities throughout the hotel. As I was desperate for views, I decided to record it for my channel and upload it. But this was definitely a huge leap out of my comfort zone. Why are there rooms? I'm in the closet. Come in. Come in. What is that noise? Oh! What the f- yeah, I was horrified. Going into the game blindly without any help, I of course had a lot of trouble in the beginning. Risky. Well, we're definitely gonna die, bro. Oh no, lag. That was a dumb idea, bro. Oh my god. Thank you very much for that, man. Very helpful. Thankfully, with each stream that I did, people started donating more and more Robux, but unfortunately, this did mean that my Dordits kept piling up stream after stream. Oh well. What? Oh my. Oh my God. Yes, And a few donations later, my door did started piling up, so without wasting any time, I started clearing my debts. But to make sure I'm not cheating on this challenge, as a way to track my wins, I'll be using the knobs here. You see, each time you beat doors, you get 150 knobs per win, which is how I'll be tracking my wins throughout this challenge. But regardless, the challenge started off at around 4,000 knobs, and throughout this entire challenge, I won't be buying any items in the shop. But also on my stream, I made this rule. And I have to play it on stream. I can't be cheap and just say, oh yeah, I beat, I beat doors this morning twice. So throughout the challenge, I'd have to follow this rule. For each door to count as a win, I'd have to play it on stream. So with the first door to head up, I hopped into doors hoping to get at least one finished. Okay guys, we got the key. Now we go to door two and a, a door three and a door four. And a few doors later, Rush finally came in. You see, Rush is one of the entities in the hotel that would be causing a lot of trouble. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. Indoors, if you can't hide when Rush comes around, you die. Oh! Everything was going well until about door 30, which is when these eyeballs started to spawn in. And possibly the best entity in the game, Seek, spawned in. Seek's probably the most helpful entity in this entire challenge is you have to run from him, which helps you skip five doors without worrying about Rush spawning. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. And a few doors later, we arrived at door 50, which is where Figure came up. Now for door 50, it was a little challenging as you had to collect eight books hidden around the library while crouching so you don't alert the monster. Once you do that, you have to get this paper, run to the door and solve the code to open it and escape the figure. If you were to stand up in the library and walk, Figure would hear you and... I love you. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. A few books later, I was doing pretty well, just barely avoiding figure at times. After getting all the books, I solved the code and opened the door, stranding figure behind it. 
And as always, everything was going fine until we ran into Halt on door 64. You see, Halt's an entity in the hotel that chases you in a hallway where every time this message flashes on screen, you need to walk backwards, then forwards once it pops up again. With Halt out of the way, we continued on until the legend himself, Seek, showed up, helping us skip six doors ahead to door 80. A few minutes later, I arrived at door 90, which is possibly the most difficult set of doors in the entire game, the greenhouse. All because as you're making your way through doors 90 through 100, it's insanely dark and Rush spawns constantly, along with several snares that will trap you if you step on them, making it nearly impossible without a light. But thankfully, I had a crucifix which I could use on Rush if I was about to die, in one of the best lights in the whole game. This is door 100, and the goal of it is to collect these fuses hidden around the map similarly to the library, you do need to crouch near figures so he doesn't sense you. After collecting every one of the fuses, I put them in to power the elevator. After doing so, this happened. I got a pizza here! After solving the puzzle, the goal was to run to the elevator. And finally, with the one door to add out of the way, I made the mistake of not showing it to the stream. Yeah, I'll be counting that as a practice run. Fast forward a couple months to May, which is where I managed to rack a few door debts after some, um, some donations. <laughs> I decided to start up a stream where I'd be paying off my door debts, officially starting the challenge. But at the time, I didn't really have a direct plan and didn't continue doing my door debts, so we're gonna disregard that stream as I only got one door debt done. And about 9 months later, I decided to give it another shot, with a bit more skill this time around. Thankfully, I had been passively playing Doors a couple of times on stream, and improved my skill drastically with each run. Fortunately for me, as my audience grew more and more over time, I started getting a lot more donations. But on the other hand, this meant my door debts kept piling up even more. Yeah, it's safe to say I collected a lot of debt. More specifically, 500 door debts and 50,000 Robux donated. And finally having enough debts piled up, I officially started the challenge by scheduling the first door debt stream. Now everything started off fine as we made our way through the first few doors, until door 18, which is where Ambush showed up. You see, Ambush is basically rushed, but he comes back and forth a couple of times, and after Ambush came around, we lost some people. Bro, he's wiggling away! He's wiggling away, what the heck? Around door 20, things got even more weird, as we got Halt, who rarely spawns before door 50. Yeah, it was already becoming clear this door's run was pretty weird. And at door 50, things got a bit more intense. But thankfully, I got all the books, solved the code, and continued on. And finally, when we got to door 90, all the stress started to come back. Not okay, Lucas, you need to use light. Yeah, please use your light, use your light. Bro, just go forward, I, I'm gonna die. Kaber, Lucas is just a kid. What the heck, bro? Fortunately, I was able to clear the greenhouse without any lights. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> the first of many, four ninety nine. Let's go, bro. Let's go. And finally, I had completed one door debt starting the challenge off. Since I had some more time on the stream, I of course had to stick true to my word and beat doors even more. Yes, sir. Sweet. Let's go. It's my best time yet. Let's go. 1835. 1835. Let's go. And thankfully, I managed to get three more flawless runs in a row that stream. Unfortunately, this happened around my fifth run. Oh, nah, bro. Get wrecked, boy! Mini head is coming. Oh my god. Because I'm cheap, I'm gonna set a roll. If you get to the end and you beat it, I'm counting that. Yeah, I may have forgotten to add that as a rule in the beginning, but yes, my sir. fans yes, did sir. make it. With five door debts cleared, I decided to end it there for the day and wait for the next door stream. And about a week later, I hopped back on to start my second door stream, and up to this point, I had been getting a lot better memorizing each room indoors, and was getting better at the game overall. And everything was going perfectly as I was consistently beating every round of doors until round 5 came. You see, I completed everything up until the greenhouse, and being the genius I am, I didn't hear Rush at all.
But a few hours after the stream ended, I decided to get the 10th debt cleared by recording. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, a week later, I decided to start another stream where my luck was starting to run out. You see, in that stream, it took me nearly two hours just to get two door debts done. And similarly, in the next stream, about two weeks later, I was only able to get two door debts done in three hours. So it was becoming apparent that this challenge was starting to get difficult. I was still able to beat doors, but it was just getting annoying. About four months later of doors, I managed to get up to 52 door debts about halfway through the challenge. And by this point, my skill had increased and I became nearly numb to the game. It was already clear that the challenge was taking way too long to finish, so I decided to take a huge risk and schedule a 24-hour stream in which I would have to beat doors the entire time. So without wasting any time, I scheduled the stream and waited, preparing myself for the most difficult challenge I'd ever face on Roblox. doors i am not excited i will probably go mentally insane so clearly i wasn't ready for this with round one up i hopped in the elevator and things were going well until door 47 which is where rush spawned in killing off everyone else unfortunately there was only one closet that i had to take so my fans kind of died come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth bro what which meant i'd have to beat the run on my own it's fine i don't need those those people to help me it's fine because the alpha walks alone. And with that, I arrived at door 100. And thankfully, I was able to clear the run, but unfortunately, I did waste some time watching a Mr. Beast video. And things were already pretty hectic. Hey there. Yeah. Hey there. Yeah. Stop saying paper papers. English or Spanish? Uh, Bingus. <laughs> But because I'm a bit of a doors pro, I made it through door after door. But unfortunately, we lost some people along the way. Or you better hide. Or you better hide. Oh, no. No. Thankfully, we were doing well and reached door 100. But it was a little risky as figure was slowly getting glitchier and glitchier to the point where he could hear you even if you were crouching. Even sometimes when you sneezed. You sneeze too loud, dude. You sneeze too loud. You sneeze too loud. And finally, after collecting all the fuses, we finally won. Immediately after winning, I decided to hop into the next game, taking no breaks at all. And thankfully, I was able to win. Things were going great as I was able to clear four door nets until round five showed up. You see, I was starting to get a lot more risky in each run until this happened, which scared me. Fortunately for me, I was able to make it to the very end on round 5. And with that, we were 4 door debts in, and of course, I hopped back into doors... again. 3 hours later, round 6, my luck was finally starting to run out. You see, I got a little bit too risky near the end, and ended up dying the halt. Hey, you woke up, man. Kiss me on my hot mouth. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm doing solo runs. And about 5 hours later, I was able to beat several rounds going from 6 door debts all the way to 13 door debts. Unfortunately, with each death, I was slowly getting more and more annoyed to the point where I wouldn't even talk after I died. Cause chat, this is crazy. Oh, you kiss me on my hot uh -oh. mouth. And after playing doors for nearly 12 hours straight, I decided to end the first half of the stream at 16 door debts. With my mental state slowly deteriorating, I decided to end the first part of the stream with 12 hours left as soon as I started the next morning. I finally woke up after a good night's rest and I prepared myself for the second part of the stream. Now with the first hour up, we got ready and immediately hopped into an elevator. And everything was going smoothly until an ambush spawned in. Oh. Yo, hide, dude, hide. No, no, you get your own closet. Bro, what? And unfortunately for me, around door 85, I got killed by double rush. Double rush, when rush rushes twice after his original rush, which rush is the rush gameplay of rush's rush and rush house. My guy, my guy, why? Really, the entire stream was just beating doors, and I'm not going to make you sit through that. So I went to work clearing my debts. 
going from zero deaths to clearing 22 deaths in about 10 hours. With that stream done, I only had about 22 hours of playing Doors straight, so after ending it, I decided to come back for one final stream where I'd end Doors once and for all. A stream in which I only needed to get 9 door deaths to be free. So without wasting any time, I scheduled the stream, waited, and got ready for freedom. Thankfully for us, the round was going well. Did it mean I'm yeah. Oh, 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 Everything was going good for me in the run until my game lagged during the seek chase. Bro, let me in! Let me in! After reviving, I was only able to survive a few more doors until Rush showed up, and because my game was laggy, Rush killed me. Oh my gosh, is everyone else lagging in here? Bro, I, I clicked. I clicked it. I clicked it! And finally, it was up to my fans to win the game once and for all. They were all doing well, beating the game insanely fast, hiding from Rush, winning, and... Bro, what? Bro! With the second round up, we cleared it easily, finally completing one door debt after nearly an hour of effort. And with every round we did, my victory was slowly coming closer and closer. And at the very start of this entire journey, I was unbelievably scared. And towards the end, I became numb to it. But each run I did was somewhat comforting, and I enjoyed it regardless. Finally getting to beat Doors 100 times after nearly two years of effort was honestly emotional. And finally, we were one door debt away from finally beating this challenge once and for all. We got on the elevator and waited. Today we are playing Roblox Doors and um, this is going to be a, a fun experience for me and you because you're going to hear me scream in fear. First of many, don't know how I'm going to hold up and do this, but we're going to try our best. Everything was going flawlessly, but we unfortunately kept losing people as we went on. Who died over here, bro? That's oh, rush, it's rush, it's rush. It is 110%. Oh, oh. Finally, we arrived at door 50 where I got all the books, solved the code, and left. Come over here, kiss me. Oh my god! A few doors later, we were getting even closer to beating the challenge. And I was starting to get emotional about the entities. The things I feared became the things I'd miss. And finally, it was time for the greenhouse. We got ready and pushed on. After surviving the greenhouse, we arrived at door 100, finally ready to beat this challenge once and for all. And eventually, Figure came out one final time to chase us once again. And thankfully, Figure was stuck, but for whatever reason, this made the challenge even more risky, as Figure could move at any time. After getting all the fuses I could, I needed to squeeze by Figure and hope he wouldn't kill me. And finally, we had the fuses and I put them in. Finally, with the puzzle done, all I had to do was run to the elevator one more time to win. It was all leading up to this moment here, over 10,000 Robux donated for this very moment. The year worth of playing doors all just to visit it one last time. See you later, figure. I'll see you later, buddy. Door 100, 100 door deaths. Let's do it. Let's go, chat. We beat 100 door deaths. But now, with the door that's done, I decided to surprise my fans with a giveaway. After all, they supported me throughout this entire journey, so why not support them too? Where am I now? 69! Let's go! And please, like this video and comment on it so we can get the creator of doors to see this video. Let's go!